guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be trying your favorite weird food combinations. So we got six different food combinations ready for me to try. We'll see what they taste like. I mean, they can't be that bad if like people actually like them. Maybe they can, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so starting off pretty mild here, we got grilled cheese dipped in applesauce. So I'm gonna go make some grilled cheese. I'll be back and let's try it. So I got my grilled cheese here. I think it's looking pretty good. I don't think this one's gonna be that bad. And mostly the reason we're starting out with it is because, well, first of all, I don't think it's gonna be like awful, but I also don't want it to get cold. So we're just gonna start off, gotta cut it diagonally. You can't eat a grilled cheese if it's not cut diagonally. Okay, and we got some applesauce here. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, let's try it out. I feel like this is probably something kids do all the time. So I'm sure it can't be, it can't be that bad. I mean, we'll see. Oh, I mean, that's like low key pretty good. The flavors don't like really mix together. Like it does taste like applesauce with grilled cheese, but like not bad, not bad. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit more risky kind of getting nervous now but actually got i think like two or three people that said pickles and kool-aid powder is good so here we are didn't know what kool-aid powder to get so just got the cherry one standard flavor i mean maybe this isn't that bad i, don't, I guess kool-aid powder is like sour ish actually i don't think i've ever had kool-aid before it kind of just smells like sour cherry powder. Like there used to be this ice cream thing when I was little, it was called like Cry Babies. It was like an Italian ice kind of sour thing. That's what this smells like. So, I mean, pickles aren't sour, but they're like tangy, so maybe it'll work together. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna like dip it in this. The pickle juice is just making it like turn to powder. Oh, there it is. Oh, it turned brown, beautiful, okay. Ooh, that's weird. Vinegar and cherry Kool-Aid powder? Mm, okay. Ew. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Really just ruined a perfectly good pickle. It's just like so many really intense flavors at once. Like Kool-Aid powder is super, super sour. And then you got this really vinegary pickle. I think my mouth was just overwhelmed. Um, I, I see the appeal, possibly. Maybe I also put too much Kool-Aid powder on. I don't know, but that was just a lot. Not really a fan. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Next up, we have cucumbers dipped in ketchup. This is also one of the ones that I got a couple times, so I, I guess it's like a thing, but also so weird. Like ketchup itself is just so weird. Like I only like it in like really small quantities and on like certain things like, you know, french fries, a burger, chicken tenders, chicken nuggets. I mean, I just can't imagine it on a vegetable. And I feel like since cucumbers don't taste like much, you're really just gonna taste the ketchup, which I am not a huge fan of. So low expectations on this one. But, okay, get a little, oh, ah, I feel like that's too much. I'm gonna dip this cucumber in the ketchup, okay. This is a little better. I want to be able to like taste the ketchup, but also I don't want it to be just ketchup, so I didn't want to do too much. Wait, that's not bad. It's, I mean, definitely in small amounts, like this much per cucumber, but it's kind of good. That is so weird. Like for some reason when it's on a cucumber, it doesn't really taste like ketchup. Like it kind of reminds me of a cocktail sauce. When it's on a cu, I don't know. That was not what I expected. <laughs> Gonna try it again. Yeah, definitely don't hate it. Like low key kind of good. 
I wonder who decided to try that. That's so weird. Okay, so next up we have popcorn and soy sauce. Now this is another one that I got a couple people saying this was good. I can actually see this being decent. I mean, it depends if you like soy sauce. I'm not a huge soy sauce fan, but it's been growing on me lately, so I don't think I'll hate this one. Apparently, it's like a thing, so once again, it can't be that bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some microwave popcorn, and then I guess I'll just pour some soy sauce on top, and we'll see how it goes. I am back. Um, popcorn is a teeny bit burnt, but like I feel like it's still okay. So um, I'm just gonna pour this on top. I don't know what the best way to do this is. Hopefully, I don't. I don't want like too much. Oh, that smells interesting. I'm sure it's not. It can't be bad. Although I didn't think the pickles and coolie would be bad, and that was really bad. So okay. Um, yeah. Honestly, it just tastes like really, really salty popcorn. I guess soy sauce really is just like a really salty sauce. And like microwave popcorn, it's also just really salty and like buttery. I could see it being better if like it was like plain popcorn and you add soy sauce on it. Like I think because this was already salted and buttered, kind of. I mean, it's not that salted and buttered, but actually it would taste a plain one. Yeah, it's like a little salty on its own, so like with the soy sauce, it's just a lot. With plain popcorn, I feel like it could be okay. Okay, so moving on to some cheesy snacks here. I got a lot of weird combinations involving Cheez-Its. Um, there was cream cheese, American cheese, peanut butter, and a couple other stuff, but I decided to do the Nutella because that seemed kind of the weirdest to me. Like a lot of the other things were like cheese variants on Cheez-Its, which okay, makes sense. But this is like chocolate on cheese. I've tried like chocolate on pizza before and like that is a chocolate and cheese thing and it was disgusting. But you know what? I am trusting you guys. You haven't, well, you've kind of stared me wrong, but like nothing's been awful. Like, okay, the, the pickles were really bad, but. I, want, I feel like I understand it though, you know? This is a brand new jar of Nutella here. I'm gonna make the first. Oh, so good. Mm. Here goes nothing. Oh my God, you know what this tastes like? It tastes like Ritz bits. Like you know the Ritz crackers that come with the cheese inside? Those are like, I don't know why, but they're like slightly sweet. That is what this tastes like. So strange. Wait, let me do that again. That's really weird. It's like Ritz bits aren't chocolatey, but also like I'm not getting a lot of chocolatey. It's just like sweetness. So I don't know. Okay, the more you tell I put on it, the less it tastes like Ritz bits. But like that first one, where I just put like kind of not that much on it, fully tasted like Ritz bits. Kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna say this one's actually pretty good. I'd recommend you guys try it. It's like strange, but. It definitely works. Okay, and last but not least, we got peanut butter and Cheetos. Cheetos were also another thing that like a lot of people had weird things they like to eat them with. Like I saw yogurt as one of them, but that kind of scared me, so we're just gonna do peanut butter. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to expect for this. Like peanut butter is a really strong flavor, so maybe it'll just like, you won't be able to even taste the Cheeto, which kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing, but. I mean, I don't know, cheese and peanut butter. That's kind of new. Okay, that's really good. Okay, this Loki really slaps. You know what it tastes like? Those like snack packs you get that, um, the crackers with peanut butter inside. I think those might actually be cheese crackers. They're like square and stuff. This is exactly what that tastes like. Okay, yeah, that's really good. Okay guys, so that's gonna be for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you wanna see me try more weird food combinations that you guys like, let me know in the comments down below. I would not love to do this again, but like I could do it again. It was interesting. Or if there's anything else you want me to take your suggestions on, like try other things you guys like, I'd love to try that. If you have any ideas, let me know. Also, I have an Instagram and a Twitter, so if you are not already following me on those, they're at Ella underscore Elbells. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Bye.